Hey guys, welcome or welcome back if you are new here. My name is Amber and in today's video we are doing the $100 challenge. Ashley from Henson Home Furnishings came to me with this idea and then we decided to open it up and see if we could get as many furniture flipping YouTube channels as possible to do this. Um, so we did get 24 different channels and the challenge is you have $100 to flip your piece and the $100 does not include like a spray gun or tools but includes the amount of everything that you use product wise and how much you initially paid for the cost of your piece. I will have everybody's videos linked in the description below. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be notified of future videos. I try to post every weekend. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here's the dresser I will be doing in this week's video for the challenge. I was given this for free from a family member. It is a 10 drawer dresser and um, I've got some plans for it. I think I'm gonna do a little like apothecary style on it. It's got a little bit of damage, but overall it's in pretty decent shape and it's a combo of solid wood and veneer. Also, if you guys want a sneak peek, you guys wanna see what my furniture hoard looks like? Yep, that's it. And there's actually still more at my parents, so you'll be seeing all of that at some point. You guys, there are so many spiders in this thing. I think there's probably more spiders in here than I've ever seen. Look, 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 that guy's still alive. Look how big he is. Okay, now I've vacuumed out all the spiders and spider webs from the drawers. I've been categorized, so these drawers are fine. They don't need any structural repair. They have the little white sliders. The bottoms are good, everything like that. And then all of these drawers are missing all the sliders as well. So I need to get new ones for all of those. First step was to remove all the old hardware as well as any of the remaining drawer glides that were still attached as the majority of them were broken from all the drawers. I then went in with some Sunnyside TSP substitute and cleaned all the drawers inside and out with a magic eraser. And here's what the water looked like after only cleaning five of the 10 drawers. I also realized that the drawers bottom slid out so that made it a lot easier to work on going forward. Okay, and then after I was done cleaning them, I let them sit in the sun for a good while so that they could thoroughly dry. The wood on these drawers was pretty rough, so I gave them a complete sanding inside and out on all the sides, front, back, everything, so that they were smooth. After I was done sanding, I went in with some DAP plastic wood filler and filled any dents or scratches or any imperfections with it. And this is what all the drawers looked like after I used all the wood filler. After it dried, I went in and I did sand them smooth. I decided to wait on filling the old hardware holes because I'm gonna be adding new ones and I wanted to use the old holes as a template for the new handles to make sure that they are perfectly lined up. After I marked off those spots, I took a speed square and just went across and made sure that they were in line with the ones above them. And then I went in with my DeWalt drill and just pre-drilled little pilot holes so that I would know where to screw the handles on later. I taped off the back of the original hardware holes with some frog tape to avoid having any bondo drip through into the drawer once I apply it. After I applied the bondo, I let it dry and then I did sand it smooth. I then moved on to removing the frilly skirt detail off of the front of the dresser. Um, I didn't like it. I'm going to be adding a new base to it to make it more modern and streamlined and just with some hammering, it ended up popping off eventually. Then with the assistance of my boyfriend, I had him cut the MDF board to fit. I'm not very good at cutting those uh, 45 degree angles yet. And then using some Gorilla Glue and the nail gun, we attached it to the front where the old frilly base was that I hammered off as well as the sides to give it a really clean modern look. Then using some caulk, we just went along the top of the MDF board to fill in any seams and just make it look like it was seamless and it was always supposed to be like that. 
The final step of the prep and repair was to glue the little veneer top that was coming up around the edges down. So just use some Gorilla Glue and then I clamped that down and let it dry. So the total for all the prep, which I combined like the cleaner, the sponge, the sandpaper, Bondo wood filler, glue, and caulk, estimated to be about $5 worth of products that I used. Once all that prep was complete, I went ahead and I applied two coats of Zinzer Bin Shellac Base Primer with a foam roller to all the drawers and the frame. I am using the color Duffel today by Melange. Um, it's a really true like army green color. It is a discontinued color. However, if you do want to order a color that you do not see on the Melange website, Morgan can do a custom order for you. You just have to reach out to Melange via their website or Instagram. The only requirement is that you do purchase it in a quart size because she does have to make a certain amount of paint to fill that order. I also recently just invested in a paint sprayer. I'm using the Super Finish Max by Homerite. Um, I'll go into more detail with it when I feel more comfortable. This was like the second thing that I was spraying, so definitely not a professional on it by any means, but I will have that linked in the description. Also, we are not including the cost of spray guns in this, but we are including the cost of brushes. So if I wasn't spraying, I would probably be using my Zebra Chiseled Wedge brush, so I will be including that um, as the cost. I wanted to make sure I got under all these little edges um, with the green paint under the MDF so I am just painting that by hand with a cheap little detail brush. To protect my paint I'm going to be using polyvine wax finish varnish in dead flat and I will be applying it with my polyvine two inch varnish brush. I switched over to my blue sponge applicator to apply the polyvine onto the drawers because they had a lot of curved edges and just made it easier to get in without worrying about any buildup or runs. I then attached the replacement drawer glides onto the drawers that were missing them. Final steps were to attach the new hardware and align all the drawers with peel and stick contact paper. Also, real quick before we get into the final reveal, I just want to show you guys a staging hack. So I put these little felt pads that you put on the bottom of furniture feet on the bottom of all my staging items so that when I put it on top of my freshly top coated and painted pieces, it will not scratch it. So there is a little hack for you guys. All right, and before we get into the final reveal, let's take a look back at what we started with. And if you guys have been keeping track of the numbers, that brought me to a total of $118.75. So I did go over, but I believe it was mainly just the cost of brushes that made me go over. And here is the final reveal. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave those below as well. And be sure to check out the other 24 channels that are participating in this challenge. I have all their videos linked in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.